Engineers are utilizing nanotechnology to extract electricity from thin air, resulting in a constant supply of clean energy 24 sevenths. The generic air gen effect is a phenomenon described by engineers, whereby any material with nanopores can be engineered to efficiently and inexpensively harvest electricity without interruptions and on a large scale. The generic air gen effect, which utilizes materials with nanopores smaller than 100 nanometers, has been discovered by researchers at the University of Massachusetts Amherst to enable the continuous generation of electricity from air humidity. This groundbreaking technique is both scalable and uninterrupted, making it possible to generate cost-effective electricity from a variety of materials, and it overcomes the limitations of condition-dependent renewables like solar and wind power. Advanced studies conducted by a team of engineers at the University of Massachusetts Amherst has revealed that almost any material can be transformed into a perpetual energy generator that harvests electricity from atmospheric moisture. The methodology involves infusing the material with nanopores that are less than 100 nanometers in diameter. This research has been published in the prestigious Advanced Materials Journal. Xiaomeng Liu, the lead author of the paper and a graduate student in electrical and computer engineering at UMass Amherst's College of Engineering, expressed her enthusiasm by stating, this is incredibly thrilling. We are creating an expansive opportunity to derive environmentally friendly electricity from the atmosphere. Jun Yao, a professor of electrical and computer engineering at the College of Engineering in UMass Amherst, explains that there is a vast amount of electricity present in the air. He likens a cloud to a congregation of water droplets, each of which contains its own charge. In cases where specific conditions are met, a cloud can release a lightning bolt, though it's not currently feasible to capture this electricity consistently. The solution that he and his team have devised is the creation of an artificial cloud on a small scale. This cloud consistently generates electricity that can be harvested and used. Yao and his associates refer to the generic air gen effect as the core of the artificial cloud, which is based on earlier research by Yao and his co-author Derek Lovely, a distinguished professor of microbiology at UMass Amherst. Their previous study, conducted in 2020, demonstrated that a specialized material comprised of protein nanowires cultivated from the Geobacter sulfur-reducens bacterium could be used to consistently generate electricity from the air. Yao highlights that the Geobacter discovery led to the realization that the air gen effect that generates electricity from air is a generic ability that can be harnessed by any material possessing a specific property. The characteristic that this property should possess is a pore size that measures less than 100 nanometers, nm, which is equivalent to less than one thousandth of the diameter of a strand of human hair. The reason for this phenomenon can be attributed to a specific parameter known as the mean free path. This parameter measures the distance that a singular molecule of a substance, namely water in this instance, travels before colliding with another single molecule of the same substance. When water molecules are suspended in the atmosphere, their mean free path is estimated to be approximately 100 nanometers. The concept of designing an electricity harvester around a specific number was realized by Yao and his colleagues. The harvester would be constructed from a thin, porous material with nanopores measuring less than 100 nanometers. These tiny pores would allow water molecules to move from the top of the material to the bottom. However, Due to their small size, the water molecules would collide with the pore's edge, creating an abundance of charge-carrying molecules in the upper portion of the layer, causing an imbalance of charge between the upper and lower portions, similar to the charge imbalance in a cloud. This would create a battery that is powered by humidity in the air, running for as long as the humidity is present. According to Yao, the concept is both uncomplicated and groundbreaking presenting a multitude of opportunities. The harvester's composition could be fashioned from a variety of materials, providing ample options for affordable and adaptable constructions that are eco-friendly. The potential for customization is immense. For example, one could envision a harvester created from specific materials that are well suited to rainforest climates, while another could be designed for use in drier regions. The harvester operates non-stop, day and night, 
regardless of weather conditions, due to the constant presence of humidity, thus eliminating a major challenge faced by wind or solar technologies, which are only functional under specific conditions. In conclusion, the AirGen device benefits from the fact that air moisture diffuses through three dimensions and its thickness is merely a fraction of the width of a single human hair. Consequently, multiple devices can be stacked on top of one another, allowing for a greater amount of energy to be produced without expanding the device's footprint. This feature means that an AirGen device would be able to supply kilowatt level power for general electrical utility use. Yao envisions a world where clean electricity is accessible no matter where you are. The AirGen effect could make this dream a reality. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.